Hello everyone, today I am so excited to introduce you to the end product that has been 12 months in the making. I give you Sanctuary, a patch library created for Omnisphere by yours truly, me. What makes this library special is that each patch is created using samples taken from pipe organs. Aside from being an electronic musician, I am also an organist and have been one for over 25 years. I also have the pleasure of being able to access several organs within my local area. Inspiration for this sort of project was provided by Jason over at Rocky Mountain Sounds. Together we thought it would be rather cool if I sampled each organ that I had access to and turned them into patches for Omnisphere. Each patch uses these unique sound sources only alongside some percussion which has been provided by hymn books not the sort of like little puny pew ones that you find all those little small hymnals but the big full fat versions that are found in organ consoles you know the ones that are so heavy that if I chuck them at you they'll knock you out or kill you one or the other I'll tell you they kill me trying to lift them sometimes these were tortured by slamming them shut hitting them with my fist riffling through the pages and I also thought it'd be cool that if I sampled my own voice and came up with some vocal phrases of me singing in Latin, singing oohs and ahs, and morphed them into some vocal pads, which we'll hear later. Before we go into this library, I have a little favour to ask of you. If you enjoy this video, please can you ding that bell, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see more reviews and tutorials to do with Omnisphere. Sanctuary comes in two flavours, the one I call the vanilla version, that will work with Omnisphere straight out of the box, there'll be no other purchase necessary there, and the spicy version that uses the effects from Nylon Sky, now Nylon Sky is a sonic extension provided by Spectrosonics, so to use a spicy version you will need that sonic extension. Each patch library can be purchased separately, so if you don't have the Nylon Sky sonic extension you won't be missing out on this library. Both libraries come with 240 patches, 40 multis and over 100 new unique sound sources. To use Sanctuary you will need Omnisphere version 2.8 or higher and around 300 meg of disk space. The price is $39 and you can pick up your copy of Sanctuary by following the links in the description below. It can be purchased through Jason's website Rocky Mountain Sounds or my own website adrianershaw.com. So now let's hear some of the sounds from this library. As I said in the little introduction, there's 240 patches and 40 multis in total to play with. What you're about to hear is a small selection of the sounds uh, along with some of the multis. This will more than give you a little flavor what this library sounds like. And if you want to hear every patch in detail, there's a full walkthrough video linked in the description below. The patches you will hear are from the vanilla version, so you don't need anything extra aside from an Omnisphere to use these. Thank you. 
So that's just a taste of some of the sounds you can get from this library. What I'm going to do now is play you a little composition uh, showing what these sounds sort of can do when combined together. Okay, so what you saw there was the final mixed version of the track that I put together using just sounds from this patch library. Now there's no extra effects on there, I just bounced it down to audio just for the purposes of balancing out the, the sound stage. So what I've done now is actually loaded the original MIDI version that I've put together. And I thought it'd be nice just to go through some of the sounds that we actually did in this track. Now, at the beginning, we have these atmospheres. And if we just bring this, this up, we have uh, order of magnitude. And we have, no, it's not, it's, let's start again. It's lost radio transmission on that track. And on the second track, we have the bells of creation. So if we listen to those separately, we have this. And 
and then on the other one we have this. And together we have this wonderful ambient electronic sound to start with. can't resist but actually show you what's in these patches so if I just bring that part of the atmosphere back up again in lost radio transmission we actually have me singing the sound R and ooh believe it or not and it's all morphed into that and that's because of the orbs going round that's what's what's done there we also have me sing, uh, speaking in nomine. That is basically what we've done um, for that particular patch. Now the ones where it sounds like bells are in the distance. Now this is a fun one. That I really did want to share with you. Because it uses a pipe organ sound. But it actually uses me actually playing a tune. And that's what's got the bell sound. That bit there, that is literally, now if, I don't know if it'll work now, if I just take all these off, it should do. So it's me playing a tune called Largo. Um, I can't remember which per, which composer that did it. I've, I've got a funny feeling it, it was, um, I think it was William Bird might have done that. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it, it's, it's an old organ piece and uh, yeah. William Boyce, that's who did it. It just come to me now. Now we have then this little bit on the bass. That's just organ sounds morphed into a synth. And then on this first track, we actually have a repeating melody. That is basically it through the track until we get halfway through that. This And it just goes up basically uh, half an octave. So. Just does a little run up like that. And then it just repeats throughout the whole track. Now underneath we have these lovely pads. Sorry, not the pads, it's the R. And then we have a soaring lead underneath. was order of magnitude it's the classic sort of uh, synth lead sound now this is where we come to the sort of like good stuff we end up with some pads now this is actually one multi Oh, 
spoken and sung phrases in there um, that gives that chattering noise, which is, I, I, God, I'm saying I'm quite biased, I know, but I, I do like that. I'm not the greatest singer by any means, but it's enough to get something special into atmosphere. Now, we need some percussion, and now this is where another multi comes in. As you saw there, those are the bat me battering hymn books, basically, uh, from from the organ to give a, a, all the kick sounds. Now we come, I believe, to another multi on the second half of this track, and this is a pad. It's a lunar translocation, is what I've called it, and again, that's made up of organ sounds. Uh, we've got three layers on this for um now oh crook sorry if you see that that's me actually playing playing the organ so on on here we actually have some more of my organ playing that i captured and we end up with this pad sound <laughs> some cool swooping effects going on there um, on this sort of transition effects that we got in there we hit some more percussion and it's just on its own this isn't a multi it's just on its own it's like a laser zap with the uh, with a bit of a kick uh, and then we end up with some bass. Basically, if you see names of stars, they are the organ patches. Anything else is either going to be labelled as a hymn kick or a vocal. We then have a lovely sequence that I've programmed in. And I wanted then just to end the whole track with a lovely synth sound. Um, it's a multi. I only use the top end. Now the full thing sounds like this. You could actually have a whole track all on its own, but I wanted just the top end. And it sounds like this. demo of what is achievable with this patch library. As Mozart said, in my eyes and ears the organ is the king of instruments. To demonstrate this I've taken simple organ sounds and morphed and warped them into sequences, synth tones, complex pad sounds, Sanctuary is a very unique library to Omnisphere as I believe it is the first one that only uses samples taken from organs and the humble hymn book. Also hidden in some of these patches are my own organ playing. If you just load up the sample and press middle C you will get a whole two minute track of organ music. It gets better than that. Contained in the patch library are samples of an organ that no longer exists and it has been dismantled. It's an organ I played for around 18 years. Sadly, it succumbed to woodworm and it had to be destroyed. Aside from the 240 patches and 40 multis for this library, you also get over 100 new unique sound sources to use in your own creations. Remember, there's a link in the description below 
for, to a full walkthrough of this library if you want to hear even more sounds in detail. A word of note about the samples, there are some in there that may sound slightly off from middle C. That's intentional and is actually inherent nature of some of what they call mutation stops. Now, synthesizers, you've probably been aware that you see 8 foot, 4 foot, 2 foot, 16, 32. Now, they're all relative pitch to each other. But the mutation stops are pitched at 2 and 2 thirds and 1 and 3 eighths. These sometimes appear as nazard and terse on the organ. Now, the idea behind those is if you mix them with the true tone ones, the 8 foot, 4 foot, 2 foot, 16, it gives a fuller, richer sound. So the idea is sort of like experiment. That's the key word, experiment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and tutorials. You can pick up your copy of Sanctuary by following the links below in the description. It can be purchased through Jason's website, Rocky Mountain Sounds, or my own website, adrianearnshaw.com. If you create any tracks with this patch library, please link them below because I really will be interested into hearing what you actually did with this library. And all there's left to say is stay creative, stay sonic, and I will catch you in the next one.